What's up guys? Welcome back or to the uh, channel. So I made a short a little while back, maybe a couple weeks ago, talking about how I ordered some new tail lights and uh, took me a minute, found the ones I wanted and of course they were on back order. Went ahead and purchased them anyway and back order was about eight weeks. Ended up waiting I think right at 10 but needless to say we finally got some new tail lights for the old girl. So, we're fixing to open up the box, which I mean, I've already opened it, but you know, we're gonna open it up together again. Uh, check them out, and then we're gonna put them in. Quick thing. So, the, re the reason I ordered new tail lights is because this little part right here, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, got a crack in it, and didn't have any problems until it, come a good rain one day and I was running down the road and my bliss module started acting up and so instead of spending $550 on one tail light I turned around and I bought this set right here so like I said we're gonna put them in I'll show you how to put one in other than self-explanatory and uh so let's get started so like I said I already cut the box open so you don't get to you don't get to enjoy that i did enjoyed that earlier go ahead and get it all oh. there they are the mishimoto xb generation 2 taillights so starting out i mean honestly they are really well packaged i'm gonna have to take cover bag off. Got to take the cellophane off of here. Just like that. I mean, just, just look at them. Them suckers are gorgeous. So you know your boy had to go with the tinted because of course it's going on the white truck. That's the only way to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start taking the old tail lights out. And I'll show you everything that goes into putting in the new ones with the Bliss module. Because all the videos that I've seen, they're done without the Bliss. Because you can put these in the halogen uh, tail light trucks. I'm gonna show you, it's got the connectors in the box. And uh, I'll show you all that in just a second. So, I'm taking out a tail light. You know I mean? It's pretty simple. One bolt here, one bolt here. Pull it out, and then we'll just unclip it. Okay, got the bolts out. Take your kind of just Pull it straight out this way. Pull your plug out. Get it done. done. Of course, it's going to be ridiculous. Probably don't help that it's coated in dirt. There we go. Okay, that's basically it. Now, as you can tell, I had to take this out because it was throwing a whole bunch of stuff in the truck. Turned off my air conditioner, my scent center stack, everything. So I went ahead and took it off, taped it up so we're getting the water on it. So basically, we are done with this. Move on to the new part. So this is the part I was talking about. Like, so on the normal halogen, they just got this little plug. You uh, plug it up and it kind of eliminates that to where you don't throw any, uh, to where you don't throw any codes or anything like that, make the hyper flash or anything. Um, so like I said, this one already had the factory LEDs. So we're just gonna take take these four bolts out right here, take this piece out, and then we're gonna be putting these onto that. So now what we'll do, we're gonna take these four bolts out and we're gonna use the provided plates for uh, your bliss module. And you just gotta take it off of this one and put it onto this one. So it'll fit in the tail light properly. Okay, we got all four 
bolts out. Good lord, gotta peel this up without breaking anything. Seems a little bit easier said than done. There we go. See, comes with a new bracket, and you'll just take this one off your old bracket, put it on your new bracket, put it back in the light. So on these, it's a Torx bit. Already got the right size. Make sure it's the right tail light, which it's not. I'm gonna use this one over here, right? Yep, this one. Take these two bolts out. Make sure it's good and clean. We're gonna slide it onto the new bracket. Use the stock hardware to put it into the new bracket. it up it's plastic you don't want to break it because uh when i thought the bliss module was going bad i went to ford and priced one and this little piece right here is eleven hundred dollars so we don't want to break that so now we'll take the driver's side driver's side out and we'll go ahead and put the driver's side in that i've already built so of course, as I'm recording this, my truck's too big to fit in the carport. So now it's coming to flood, so I hope y'all can hear me. So uh, once you get it bolted through the bracket, you're gonna take your bracket, you're gonna stick it back in. Oh, no, first, you're gonna take the plug, and we're gonna plug it up to your uh, sensor right here. So you get a click. Then we're gonna take it, we're gonna ease it down in there. Line it up with the little tab parts. All right. There we go. Then we'll take, we'll put the uh, supplied hardware back in to hold the module in. Get them started. Okay. down just a little bit you know, not all the way in one corner so that it's not crooked so like a leak to get water in it I did mine in a crisscross pattern just to make sure that uh you know that can get sitting there crooked Said, you're screwed into plastic so do not try to go all hulk on it all right i think we're good on all of them yep okay. all right I think we got them all yep all right basically from that
I just realized that I did the driver's side instead of the passenger side. Good job, stupid. So I guess we're gonna be swapping out that side first. But basically, from this point, put it back in the truck, plug it up, bolt it up, and we're good. All right, so it really started coming down, but uh, so I got the driver's side in now that I actually put it together first. And uh, so we're gonna give you a quick look at what it looks like and compare it to the passenger side, and then I'll swap the other side out. Like I said, it's basically identical to this side process wise so uh let's see what check it out i say it's really coming down but uh so far i mean love the black on the white so let's see what we got that's the new compared to the old there's that We'll check it out again. But I just love, I love how this looks. Super clean in my opinion. I mean, can't go wrong with Morimoto. I messed up earlier and had to re-record re, uh, a part because I called them Mishimoto. Because I've also been looking at intercoolers for the old 3.5. You never know. But, uh, so basically, that's it. I'll get a few shots when it gets dark, put it in the video. And uh, tell me what you think. If you like, if you like them, dislike them, you know, personal preference. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. One quick thing to add: uh, Morimoto really did go all out with these. Like you see, it's got the 15 to 17 halogen lugs and the 18 to 20. That's just so you can run the LEDs in the halogen trucks. So I mean, they really, they really cater to their customer. And I'm, I am impressed. So they are finished. Both sides, I said, super easy. Got that. Mm.